airplanes and black cats and the smell of Miami it can only mean one thing. What? I don't know. But it's crow's day. It's crow's day. Yeah, so just a little clue. We didn't stay right near the cruise port. We're, we're near the airport and uh, we're at the Red Roof Inn Plus. And the Red Roof Inn Plus, 130 bucks for one night. Let me, let me tell you, the room was not spectacular, but what is spectacular is this fenced-in parking. $7 a day. For some reason, they gave it to me for $5 a day. I'm excited about that. And it only costs $10 for a shuttle to get to the cruise port. It's not glamorous, but the hotels over near the cruise port, four or three or $400, I, I just couldn't do it. It's, it's not the Four Seasons, but uh, yeah, I got a good night's sleep, and of course I am up early with tasks to do. I gotta find a drugstore because I did not bring any sunscreen. But look, I I don't know if you know that, but but let's go find the Walgreens. So yeah, that's the secret for me. I'm always up earlier than Jenny. So if I have some task to do, it makes the time go better. If not, I couldn't, I would just be sitting around, you know? And so yes, uh, suntan lotion and baby oil. Interesting combo. SPF 100. Good stuff. All right, so Walgreens is complete, and uh, you know I can't go back empty-handed. I better find Jenny some coffee. Unfortunately, at night you, you couldn't hear that. So, all right, let me get this uh, let me get this coffee up to Jenny. Twice with the black cat. Kitty, 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 kitty. Breakfast buffet. Well, hello, Jenny. Well, hello, Tony. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just waiting for the shuttle. The shuttle to where? To the cruise. Why? Because it's cruise day! What? It's cruise day. What? It's cruise day! What? It's cruise day! It's cruise day. It's cruise day! It's cruise day. Alright, so I mentioned it before, we are staying at the Maho Beach of Miami. <laughs> we are right next to the airport. Like, like, the airport is across the road. And again, this room was a little on the inexpensive side, but really great prices on parking. $7 a day for parking. Uh, it's only, I think it's $10 a piece for the shuttle, but I don't know what happened downstairs. They only charged me $5 a day for parking, and we got two shuttle tickets for $10. It was crazy. All right, so let me show you the room. Again, it's not the, it's not the Four Seasons, but it was okay. Let me give you a room tour. It's not, it's not you know. Who picked out this room, Jenny? Uh, I think we both did. Oh, whew, good. I'm off the hook. Yeah. Hey, before we open, before we uh, do the room tour, do you want to show our, our mail that we got from our friend Mary? Oh, yes. Show the stamps. Well, let me hide that. This is from our friend in Indianapolis, Mary Miller. Mary Miller. Look at the, uh, look at the Star Trek stamps. <laughs> she said we had to open this prior to our cruise. Okay. Mary, Mary, oh, what you make? Oh, she is the best. It is 
hydro it's it's peroxide tony and jenny to keep you safe and sound mary thank you mary thank you mary all right here's the room tour all right so we are in room 307 so this is what you see when you walk in Got a little bath. So it, it looks like this is an older hotel, honestly, that's been uh, refurbished. So you got nice, uh, like, wood floors or wood laminate. Done a little rework, obviously, on the sink. It's cruise day! All right, so you got this going on. You got a hair dryer. The fan's going to get loud because the fan and the light are commingled in this bathroom. You got the throne. Every man's throne and then just uh you know standard standard little tub yo water pressure was good it got hot again like it's it's worn right a little dated 134 bucks opposed to like 400 dollars at the port and the parking deal super great here uh decent bed little king size bed the pillows were horrible Jenny did not like the pillows. I didn't sleep at all. Solid TV though. You know, sometimes you don't have good TV. This is one of those deals you hit the guide button and it's got a variety of channels. So, plus on the TV. And then, you know, a lot of stuff that you don't get with some hotels. Microwave safe and a refrigerator. <laughs> if you got to keep it refrigerated. This is all we're taking on the cruise. These five bags. Are you taking me? Well, Jenny, of course I'm taking you. And then this is actually really nice. Like, okay, again, so here's some, you know, got a little maintenance that needs to be done, a little ceiling maintenance. Yeah. But look at this, you get a nice little L workstation. Yeah. Jenny worked, worked last night. Yeah, it worked well last night. Booking cruises. And then, uh, yeah, completely right across from the airport. Hold on, you can't see that. Let me, let me get something to help you out. Look, and there's the, uh, there's the airport. So there's this main thoroughfare. Lots of traffic here in Miami. And then uh, you can see the Amazon plane over there. I didn't hear any planes during the night, though, Jenny. Any plane noise? No, no. Yeah, so it's pretty sound. Mm -hmm. But, all right, that's the room tour. Yeah. Anytime you see this shirt, you know it's cruise day. It's cruise day. So I'm on the fence about it. I like to stay in a nice hotel room, but I don't want to pay $400, right? Our cruise, did that would be more than half of our cruise. Right. And so, yeah, I guess I'm suck it up buttercup, this kind of not great room. It's not bad, but again, the price was right. 130 bucks, right. cheap parking. It costs like $22 to park at the port per day. Per day. Per day. And so... Uh, we saved a lot of money on parking. And, and they had then, those cool little um, food trucks out in the front last night. They had food trucks out mm -hmm. front. They also have a continental breakfast. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it's not bad. It's it's crowded. It's busy. and But we have a shuttle at 1020. Mm -hmm. We're going to the cruise port at 1020. So you ready? I'm ready. How's that Duncan? Oh, it's a delish. Jenny, what if we got trapped in this elevator right now? Well, at least I'd be stuck with you. You always have the right answers. That's right. If we got stuck in this elevator, I'd be freaking out. <laughs> hey, it's big enough that we could stay here. It's not a small elevator. That's it's hot, hot, too. It is hot. Hot. Whew. All right. Crisis averted. Here's the breakfast set up. Continental cereals, breads. A lot of good seating area. Juices, coffees. They also said they have a nice outdoor section here. People out enjoying their breakfast. There's Jenny. They also have the pool area here, which is pretty nice. I'm trying to get one of these Maho beach shots. So I'm here by the pool, just waiting for a plane. Sounds like one's coming. I'm just waiting on a plane. Here we go. Maybe. Maybe. 
maybe not. As soon as I stop the camera, it's gonna come. So many noises here, like is it the road, is it the plane? Oh, it's a plane, here we go. It didn't come directly overhead. Pretty cool. Time to grab the bags, check out of the hotel, go to the cruise port. It's cruise day. It's cruise day. Cruise day. Jenny. Yes. Would you be freaked out if we got stuck in this elevator? Yeah. But at least we'd be together. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the lobby of the Red Roof Plus. Just waiting on the shuttle and then we will make our way to the cruise port. Getting excited. Super excited. It's almost time. Jenny, you look ready to cruise. I'm ready to cruise. Ready to cruise. I got my cruise day shirt on. You hear the airplanes? <laughs> I wasn't kidding. I'm glad though that we didn't, I didn't hear them last night sleeping though. No, I think it's all soundproof. Yeah. All right, waiting on the shuttle. Come on, it's a cruise me. life. I want to see the Hurry shit. up and wait. Ready to go, cruise day. It's 11.30. Yeah. Took us about a half an hour to get here, but guess where we're at? We're at the cruise port. The cruise port, MSC's cruise port at the Port of Miami. And look, I'll show it to you, but the MSC Davina is right behind us. Are you excited? Yeah, it's waiting for us. We gotta get on this cruise ship. First, they'll look at the Davina. Oh, We're sitting here at the Miami port. The sun is beating down. We are getting ready to get on the MSC Divina. I'm rethinking not having on sunscreen. Yeah, I just, I was thinking the same thing for you because I feel the sun. I'm sure you do. The line is moving now. It is. It's a beautiful day in Miami. What do you think? It's probably like 81, 82. Yeah. It's beautiful out there. Nice breeze. Mm -hmm. You ready to cruise? I'm ready to cruise. Let's go cruising. <laughs> This is interesting, we're actually walking down to board the ship. I like this, Jenny. Thank you. Alright, so we are on board. The rooms are not ready yet, but we're going to go up and have lunch in the buffet. Yeah. But first, we had to take a quick stop. We have to look at where we're gonna test the baits, you know. Quick stop at the casino. Looks pretty legit. We're gonna take a quick break and then we're gonna go up and uh, have some lunch. Yummo. So the cool thing, we made our way to the buffet. We found seating pretty easily, and they've got a pretty good variety. They got some, you know, Western American food, but they've got some delicious pastas, and so so far so good. So we're gonna eat quick lunch and then uh, hopefully go to our cabin. Let's see what Jenny thinks. So MSC has the best pasta. It's delicious. So soft, so good. The best pasta. Lunch. All right, so here we are at cabin 10215. Now this is a balcony cabin here on the MSC Davina. Pretty cool though, we had a guaranteed interior and we got upgraded to this, uh, or this is what we got assigned. When you get a guarantee, you don't know what you're gonna get, but we didn't get assigned an interior, we got signed, assigned this balcony, so. Well, there's Jenny. So this is an interesting cabin. We're trying to decide whether it's a full-size cabin or not. I don't, I don't know. Jenny doesn't think so, but yeah, so a balcony, but no couch. Again, 
we only paid for an interior so i feel like we've gotten a little bit of an upgrade but the room is uh it's, it's almost pretty... the same size as an interior right they're telling yeah, us that we have to go to the drill in a lot of languages. We have to take our life jackets. It's exciting! Okay, I'm so excited. I've never been excited for a mustard drill, but I am so excited. Why? For the first time ever, we had to bring our life jackets. And it's inside. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm volunteering Jenny to be the life jacket model. I don't know if she's gonna do it or not, but yes, it's inside. I don't know where we're at, but super comfortable. Life jackets. This could be the best mustard drill ever. Look, I don't even know what that is. I've never felt more safe than right now. Why are you rolling your eyes? Jenny's not safe. Let's see who gets pushed off the plank this time, Rose. So a little balcony time. We are back from the mustard drill. It is getting chilly in Miami. Jenny, what's the temperature, do you know? So it's 70 degrees and overcast. It does feel cold. I think the hardest parts of the cruise are over. So we got through embarkation, we got through mustard, and now we're onto the, onto the cruising. What you doing there, Jenny? Just unpacking, Aunt Me. Nice use of the shelves. Yeah. Who opened that water? You? Oh, that's right. Is your freaking Rockefeller? I'm a rock. <laughs> Five fifty for water. It's crazy. All right, so it's getting close to six o'clock. We have any time dining, which was great. Uh, so I think we might go get something to eat. There's a show, a Tina Turner show tonight, of all things. Um, looking forward to that. We did, yeah, we saw a great show on the MSCC side. Jenny, what are you feeling for dinner? Oh, wait. That's not Jenny. <laughs> I was waiting for you to put it over to Jenny. Uh, <laughs> look, it's Don Terrace. Don, hey. what, are, what are you doing? You, I thought I thought you, uh, did you come down here to correct me on my usage of uh, I nautical terms? It's stern, Tony. Uh. Stern. Tony. And he's talking <laughs> There's nothing, to There's not, nothing worse than getting a stern talking to from a Canadian. That's what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't expecting that on my cruise. Jenny, did you know Don was coming? I did not know Don was coming. You got I was hoping that he would show up. Well, it's funny, the last time I did this was on an MSC cruise, too. That's right. We, <laughs> we, tend, to, we tend to hook up here on the MSC cruises. All right, kids. Well, uh, that just threw the whole uh, wrench into the... Uh, I don't know. What do you throw a wrench into? But... 
who knows what's gonna happen. It's a whole new cruise now. The Three Musketeers are back together just like we did last year in February. Was it February? Yeah. Just like last year in February. Don Terrace, La Lita Loca, MSC, who knows? What do you think? MSC Divina. There's another cruise ship out there. Oh yeah, that's another one. Got sidetracked. Alright, we'll probably get some dinner in a bit. See you later. Any, are you ready to go to your first show? No, I'm gonna go to the casino. What? This is a bad thing, so here's the theater and the casino is literally right there. I don't know that Jenny will watch a show the whole cruise. Oh, that's good. All right, we're gonna see if we can find a spot. All right, we'll see us. We'll come get you. All right, fun. What's with the one high back, one low back? I guess maybe it's a stylistic thing. Or could it be an acoustics? I don't know. I think it's second. You think it's second? <laughs> <laughs> what? what? What is Don talking about? <laughs> Leave a comment. Why do you think these are high back, low back, high back, low back? Acoustics, aesthetics, or sexist is Don might say. <laughs> so picking up from where we were last year, uh, Don and I will be reviewing all the shows this week. So, uh, <laughs> As always. The Siskel and Ebert of Cruise Lines. Here we go. All right, show number one in the books. Not bad, a tribute to Tina Turner. Uh, interesting, we just gotta get to know the the crew here on the Divina, don't you think, Yeah, Don? I think so. It was a very sparsely populated theater. Jenny, what'd you think of the show? It was okay. It was yeah, I, I don't know if that was in their wheelhouse, but uh, <laughs> but it wasn't bad. Very, they could dance. They could dance. And they could sing well. Absolutely. Just I don't know if it was the right fit for Tina. That's right. <laughs> Is that too harsh? I don't mean it in a bad way. Hi. All right, well, I think we're going to close the vlog out. Uh, interesting first day here on the MSC Divina. Uh, we're still forming opinions, I think. Yeah. Lots to explore, lots to do. We still have lots of cruising to do. And tonight. Dawn showed up. Yeah. Wow. All How right. fantastic is that? Well, make sure you go check out Dawn's channel, and uh, thanks so much for stopping by. This is Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lido Luca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye. Bye.